I would say that over the long arc of a career, especially one that's trying to you know, either push something forward really aggressively in academia or an industry where you have to um, take risks and perhaps folks don't know yet if you are qualified to do it and you have to show those qualifications. I have found that um, it has never worked for me to let others define who they think I am and for me to show and demonstrate through my work um, who I am. I mean, I find it so easy to be pigeonholed by what people understand your degree to be or your background to be or your identity to be, to have that be something that can hold one back in an organization. And um, uh, it's, it's much better to, to know who you yourself are um, and to know your strengths and your weaknesses and then hold really steady to those and not let have others define them for you. It's, it's hard to define one, you know, when you're in five years or five plus years for a PhD, you know, you're growing so much during that time. You, you know, I was a young adult and, and really coming into adulthood. So certainly it was all the relationships that I've made, um, personal relationships that become professional relationships as we, all of us in our graduate program grew into a much larger network of professional uh, relationships that have just meant the world to me. And to know that we can look back on those from 30 years ago, we really have, um, you know, the, 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 the social network of, of the folks who went through in the, the mid nineties really have um, a wonderful foundation to, to, to build on. So it's really certainly the relationships um, among students, but also with um, the professors with whom I now have um, much more peer-like relationships with rather than advisorly relationships with, where we advise each other. And I really enjoy, I really enjoy that and that full-fledged membership into the academy. And then of course I met my spouse here and we've been uh, together ever since and have three children and we collaborate on research still to this day. And, and so all that has been really wonderful for me. And I'm really grateful for it. So I would say, just speaking from my own experience, um, it's kind of trite to say to take risks, but I really think that's important and that does define my career and what ultimately led to the things that I feel have been most successful. Of course, they need to be calculated risks and I think that's very smart too. So once one mitigates risks um, and then takes them, that's important while also recognizing when you've discovered a rabbit hole and to not go too far down that once you discover a rabbit hole, you got to cut your losses, retreat and rethink and, and then go back again. Um, and so I think keeping those things in mind, ultimately, um, you know, moves one forward. And then of course, the final thing is completion. So completing those visions and those tasks and no matter how big or small they are, bringing things to completion also then commands respect of others that those risks were worth, were worth taking.